Hello everyone, welcome back to Tea Chats. It's me, your host, I'm not dead. That's always good news. Uh, I've been sitting on this footage since November, and that's a long time. So it's, it's a special episode, 20 minutes long, but unfortunately, uh, because of the style of this and everything, I cannot respond to the comments that we had on episode four. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the comments on episode four, I'm gonna respond to them, um, and then it would be great if you would leave comments down below on this episode uh, that, so that we could have something to talk about in episode six. Um, yeah, that's basically my PSA. Uh, I'll see you guys soon and uh, enjoy. All right, guys, I'm in downtown Riverside. I'm about to uh, go and chat it up with some of the indigenous locals. <laughs> Uh, today is Arts Walk, which is a little event that they do and a bunch of interesting people go here during Art Walk So hopefully crossing our fingers. We'll find some interesting opinions and uh, not get arrested Hey guys, what's up? Nothing much. Nothing much. How are you enjoying uh, Arts Walk? It's pretty cool. Pretty nice. Nice. Hey guys, what's up? Hi. How are you enjoying Art Walk? Pretty good. Nice. What about okay. yourself? I'm, I'm doing good. I'm, I'm really enjoying the time here. And uh, yeah, move your microphone up. <laughs> what are your names? My name is Aaron. Aaron? I'm Don. What are your names? I'm Ruby. Ruby? I'm Justin. Justin? Diana. Diana. All right. What's your name? Mike. Mike. I'm Alex. You're Frank? Yes. And I'm Cassie. Cassie, okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not, no. You're not gonna not shake my hand? <laughs> I, th I thought you were gonna shake mine. Oh, uh, well, I, Sorry, I was extending lady, an invitation. Sorry, first. All right, so what's your name? Francisco. All right, <laughs> I'm Francisco also. Yeah, that's me. All right, what's your name? All right, hello. And I... Sandra? Sandra? Okay, okay, I am sorry, I forget your name. And your name? Alex. Alex? <laughs> and Kara? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> you should introduce them first! Alright, well, I, now that the introduction is good, so let's Yes, continue. okay. So, I host a show called Tea Chats um, on YouTube, and uh, I have been doing it in my room all this time, and I thought, you know, I'd take it out onto the streets and talk to actual people rather than fake internet people. So, with Hillary Clinton in the, in the presidential race, you know, um, do you think that people would vote for Hillary Clinton just to have the first female president? Like, do you think people care enough about having these firsts that they would just vote for that just to ha have it happen? Like, like what, what was Obama voted into office because he's a good president or because people just wanted the first black president? I think it's the first, like, the first just talking to people. I don't, I don't want to sound like a racist or anything. Yeah. 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 But Sexist. the only thing is, since she's a female, that's the only reason most people keep voting her out of office. Uh-huh. So that may be the only thing stopping her. Yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 it's difficult to, like, because there, there is a certain excitement in being the generation that <laughs> that elected the first black president or the first uh, female president or the first Latina. You know, it's, it's like, whoa, we're cool. You know, being around for that too. Yeah, it's it, it's definitely like you want to be in an exciting time. Um, yeah, it's it, you definitely have to say like, oh, maybe this person isn't the best for for what we need right now. I'm the last guy you'd want to ask about politics. I don't uh, care about presidents, I don't care uh, about politics. I really don't. It's just nothing but problems. And one person's good, the other person's bad, but that person can be bad too, I just don't care. Yeah, it's, it's all like a bunch so of... So I don't care who becomes President Trump or Sanders, it doesn't matter, I don't care. Uh -huh. But I'm not one for being racist, and I personally think Donald Trump's racist, so I don't, yeah. I don't judge people by the skin of their color. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not. It, Trump, Trump is crazy. Yeah. Um, but do you think that do you think that people voted for Obama to be politically correct, or j just to say I want a black president no matter what they do? Or I'm not one for race. It's just if you're president, you're president. Yeah. That's cool beans. Don't mess up our system. That's all I gotta yeah. say. Don't make it to where we can't really do anything. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, I uh... like I'm a cigarette smoker. And I heard they're supposed to be passing a law where you can't buy cigarettes till you're 21, which is okay because I will be 21 <laughs> in like three weeks. So. I mean, I can buy them regardless, but yeah. you know, 
of my friends that want to buy them, they can't because I put 421, but I don't influence smoking on anybody because I did it since I was 12 and it's yeah. nasty. Yeah. I don't like it, I don't prefer it to uh, anybody because, you know, it messes you up really bad. Like, my lungs are all jacked up and it's, um, just, it's all bad. Why do you think you keep doing it? Like, what, what about it is, is... Well, it helps me, it calms my nerves when uh, things start going sour and bad. And it's just a, it, it's a, it becomes a habit because I get bored and I tend to smoke more when I'm bored. Yeah. So like, I can probably go through two packs a day. That's how heavy my smoking is. Yeah. And I'm not saying I'm proud of it. I wish I never started. Yeah. I really don't wish I started. I really don't. It was bad. But it happened, it happened. I got peer pressured into it and now I've been stuck smoking it ever since. And my mom had no idea I did it for five years and then she finally caught me. Yeah. So do you think this law about being 21 is, is a good yeah, law? Yeah, it's, it's a good thing for the younger generation not to smoke. Yeah. But if, you're, if your kid or your somebody's gonna smoke, just let them smoke, let them mess their own life up. Don't harp it on them, oh, don't smoke. Because you got parents that are ex-smokers, oh, I don't want my kid to ever smoke. Well, I grew up around cigarette smoke my whole life since I was in my mom's stomach. It was only a matter of time until I picked up on it. And I used to watch my mom smoke all the time. Yeah. And one day I took, after I smoked my one cigarette with my friend and I became hooked, I started smoking my mom's butts that she would leave me. She would leave nice size when I'd smoke oh, wow. them. Yeah. Five years straight, she had no idea. Uh, and she uh, finally caught me, so. I'm still breathing, I'm still sleeping well, I'm still here. Eastern medicine. Uh, that's, a, that's a strange <laughs> out there topic, right? Um, a lot of people believe that like, the, the spiritual energy would uh, would heal you or, or like they think that there's there's connections between like uh, little nerve bundles and like if you stab them with a needle suddenly your headache is better right yeah. do you think that there's there's something there that people actually are right about I personally don't believe it it's like it's mostly in your head because uh, it's like if you think something like it'll, it's more like it's most likely that your body will like project it so you think it's 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 like a placebo kind of thing? Yeah. Okay. Uh, kinda. I don't know. Cause now like there's a lot of different like medicines. Uh -huh. for, like say a sore throat, but like Eastern medicine would be like get some green tea and honey and it solves the problem. So it kind of does work, but yeah. it depends on the situation. Yeah. Yeah. I would say about the same because my mom she has like little tiny remedies that you smell for certain things. Uh huh. And like it's, it's like sore chest or like runny nose something and they actually help like I use one like this use one and they help but then like again probably also in your head so it yeah yeah because you expect it to work differently than the medicines here well in so much as uh China is in the east and we uh, you know you could kind of blur it and think of swamis and uh -huh. you know yoga and so forth but uh the Chinese medicine model is great because in, in I don't know how they do it now, but every family had a doctor who was on salary. Uh -huh. And if everyone was well, he would be paid. Somebody in the family became sick and the money stopped. Hmm. And it was based upon keeping people healthy instead of our model, which is keeping people sick and treating symptoms. I so, never, I never heard of that. That is really interesting. They used to have a family physician who would be paid regularly, uh -huh. except when someone fell ill. <laughs> That's really cool. The motivation was there to do what anybody would hope to do, which uh -huh. was to be re remain healthy. I, I hear a lot of stuff about how the American healthcare system is not doing a good job at all. Well, Obamacare fixed nothing that was wrong uh -huh. with the American health care system. Uh -huh. uh, I have a bad hip, I don't know how bad, but doing fundamental research and replacement, you can go to India, which is the bottom of the yeah. economic tier and cost tier, for 2900 you can have a hip put in. In France, you can have two hips put in for about 14,000 euros. Belgium, which has the lowest secondary infection rate of any country in the world, uh -huh. will do one hip for about 12,000 euros. U.S., they start at 60 and go up to 100,000. And uh, if, if you would like to explain to me how the affordable health care program <laughs> has affected this particular statistic, I would love to know. Uh -huh. You could go to, uh, I forget where it was, but several very desirable vacation destinations. Yeah. Spend a year, have two hips put in, and come back with goodies for less than it would cost to have a hip put in in the United States. Yeah. So yeah, the Eastern model must be better than ours. <laughs> 
I know that you guys probably watch a lot of media, right? Meaning YouTube. YouTube? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you do you guys watch the news at all? No. Not really. No. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So um. So how how much do you think your personality, you as a person, how much do you think that is influenced by the media? I don't think as much. You don't think as much? No. No? I'm just a typical we're not, average guy. Yeah. Uh -huh. We're not. No one in the big leagues, like you know, the presidents and the governors. Uh -huh. We're not. We're just citizens. Not, okay. You know. If you hear your favorite, uh, like. YouTube star talk about which is obviously me, right? You guys know who I am. Uh, if you hear your favorite YouTube star talk about something that you've never heard of, um, would you adopt their opinion on that thing? Do you think, or or would it? Uh, I think most likely yes. Yeah. Because it's like that's someone you look up to, kind of. Uh -huh. So you want to follow what they do. Yeah. I would do it. Yeah. I don't, especially if I don't know that much about the topic, like right. I'll learn through them and I'm just like, yes, I agree totally. Like, I want to yeah. be you, yes. Uh, kind of. Uh, what my dad says, whenever it comes from someone else's mouth, you gotta trust what they say, but verify it. So yeah, just kind of trust and take kind of your opinion, and then do a little research myself. No. And how much do you, do you guys think you verify things that you hear? Like how much how much time do you spend saying, oh, I wonder if that fact is actually true? I should look. It depends if I'm like interested in the topic. Yeah. Like if I'm like, oh, that actually seems pretty interesting. I want to know, like, you see for sure. Uh -huh. I'll look it up. But other than I'm like, if it doesn't bug me, I'm like, okay, I'll just, I'll listen to what I hear. Okay. Same one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It has to hold my ears. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think that's the same for me. I, I usually like to be sure of what I'm saying, um, but sometimes I'm like, I, I don't really care. <laughs> um, as an artist, I'm probably constantly involved in media because, you know, when you create art, you have to share art because that's usually how you get people to see your art yeah so are you talking about social media or just media in general like TV internet uh, it could be any kind of media like music uh, paintings uh, the most obvious example would be the news yeah um, well, I don't watch the news because uh -huh. usually it's biased yeah definitely. <laughs> um, the internet is a good source to look for stuff but you have to be very collective with it because yeah. Like, I was doing it, I was interviewing, because I also take photojournalism, so I was talking to people about the same thing, and a lot of people were like, well, this one person put it, media is like, you have to pick your poison, you have to choose, choose which one you want to you want to follow. And and that's pretty much true, you have to choose which kind of media you want to listen to and which one you don't, so. It just depends, like, a lot of, a lot of the time I'm influenced by, like, by um, my friends and few artists that I look up to, you know, the masters. Um, so usually I try to go the tr more traditional route, like the books and their work. Yeah. I try not to be too involved in social media and the internet because, like I said, everything's really biased nowadays, so. Yeah. Yeah. Your question again. <laughs> Say the question again? Yes. Okay. How much of you, as a yes. person, is created by the media? Or influenced by Can the Can I media. give a percentage of me? Yes, like, that would be great. Okay, like 40%. 40%. Probably, because I watched a lot of TV growing yeah. up because I was like my babysitter, so mm -hmm. I'm influenced a lot, but I try not to do that anymore. So. Since you're being very plural with media, I'm going to say 100% because we're constantly bombarded with imagery. Uh -huh. And if you're, if you're saying that's media also, then 100%. We base our image off what we see and what we're around. So. I'm gonna say 100% because the clothes I'm wearing, I saw somewhere and I thought it was cool, mm -hmm. either in an ad or in a book or even at the store, and that's some sort of advertising or media. Yeah. Um, the bow tie you're wearing, also, you probably thought it was cool or fancy or interesting or like an eye catcher, uh -huh. and that was some sort of media right now that you're yeah. fine. So I'm gonna say 100%. I'm gonna say I'm not even gonna lie about it because even right now we're doing something meat like with media. Yeah. Hi. Right. So we're involved in media right now. So. I'm just gonna give you a. <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> it's very flat, 100%. We could expand upon this and, and sort of go with your uh, idea that you pick and choose what media you consume, right? No, because we cannot pick and choose that we see that. Because if we turn our heads, it's already there. Mm -hmm. 
it's it's hitting us already. But you can choose whether or not we, to follow it. Though. We can choose whether or not to follow. That's where the choice is. But yeah. we cannot choose what media bombards us. Okay. Because right now, if you go turn on the TV, you cannot choose the commercials you watch. You can choose the commercials you watch if you don't buy the product, but that takes time to weigh off. Uh huh. So we don't really choose. We do choose the media that we get bombarded and what we and how we get affected, but we don't really choose the media we get bombarded. Unless you're an ad like company, then I don't like you too much because uh -huh. you guys are being sneaky. You guys are putting it in newspapers and articles and hiding it. You guys are doing, well, not you, but I'm just saying yeah. in plural. Because if it was you, you're going like, don't attack me now. It's like, what? It's like you're starting to back up. I'm just saying. Um, Huh? Question then. So what, how do you feel about the ads like when you do on, you know on Hulu? Where you can choose whether... I don't go on Hulu. Is this ad relevant to you? Yeah, is this ad relevant <laughs> to you? I don't go on Hulu. I always say no. I always say I don't. I always ad, say no too. I don't know that because I don't go on Hulu. Yeah. Okay, well, I go on different what sites. If, what if advertisements nowadays were like that, where you could choose which advertisements are helpful to you and which ones aren't? Would you say then that you have more of a choice? You have more of a choice, but still you're being asked to yeah, have the advertised towards. Yeah. And, and that kind of defeats the purpose of a choice because you don't have you're just limiting the crap you see yeah true thank you guys so much for being on the show and uh talking it's nice nice meeting you and um, yeah thank you thank you all for uh for nice talking you. and um yeah thank you so much thank you so much for uh sure, it was fun. talking to me uh, you can cut now I didn't know this would go to myself, but uh, you wanted we're... a personal deep conversation. Does that not involve self? Yes, it does. It does. There you go. Um, so I, I guess the the way that I think about myself is like when people tell me to self evaluate, like when I get uh, when I get an assignment that says, you know, how did you do on this assignment? I hate it because I don't. I, I have this 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 idea in my mind that if I think of myself positively, then I'm a complete narcissist and I. I'm conceited and I don't I don't like to think of myself as conceited right there's nothing wrong with being a little bit of proud having a little bit of pride in yourself yeah yeah but it's, it's like at what point do, does my pride become conceit you know does it matter yeah does it really matter does it matter some people because people are still willing to surround them, themselves around you. Yeah. yeah. So apparently they either enjoy it or they don't, enjoy, and they or they mock it. Uh huh. You're either gonna get both. I mean, you're gonna have people that like that part of you, and there's gonna be people who don't like that part of you. So uh, you just does it matter? Yeah. Should it you not matter. just be? Just do be and you. be.